Thank you to my Patreon members, ITC Games, Jeremy St. Cyr. Coming soon on video and DVD. He went to his sleep. Oh. What's supposed to happen? Hey guys, I'm JDDY on Opposite Day. We are here with The Mighty. I don't know anything about it. Um, I saw it on TikTok, like a couple of clips of this big kid who probably isn't as smart as he needs to be with this little kid who is in crushes, who is smarter than he is. And like, they were running away from bullies, so that's all I know about it. Um, but we'll see more. If you guys want my full uncut reaction to this and anything I do, make sure to check out the Patreon down below. And with that being said, let's check out The Mighty. Let's go. It was Freak who told me about King Arthur. How he got this round table. And how he got the bravest knights in the whole world to sit at that table. We will be brothers, said King Arthur. And we will fight for all those who ask for help. We will be gentle to the weak, but terrible to the wicked. It was Freak told me about King Arthur. It was Freak. It was Freak told me everything. I live with my grandparents, my mother's people. I call them Graham and Gray. I saw a painting in a book once, must be famous. This old dude and his wife standing in front of a farmhouse or something. Yeah. This dude's holding a pitchfork, and he looks like he never smiles. His wife don't look too much happier. That's Graham and Graham. Mm. Of course, there's a good reason they look like that all the time. They Why? They stuck with me. Don't say that. They're your grandparents. I'm sure they love you. When you're in the seventh grade and you mm -hmm. look like Godzilla, you're gonna get the looks and you're gonna get the whispers. Oh, bud. Sometimes it seemed like the whole world had just seen me on America's Most Wanted. It was Freak told me about King Arthur. It was Freak told me everything. See, I never had a brain till Freak came along and let me borrow his for a while. Kevin, your room's still a pile of boxes. Do you want me to help you unpack the books? No, Mom, it's okay. I can do it myself. You have my word. My word is my bond. What do you have there? It's an ornithopter. Try to take advantage of what looks like ideal flight conditions this evening. Say that again. The ornithopter is defined as an experimental device propelled by flapping wings. It's a big word for a mechanical bird. Congratulations, Mrs. Dillon. It was a tough delivery, but you've given birth to a healthy seven pound dictionary. <laughs> you must be very proud. Wow. Uh -oh. I think it's time for a bowling for minutes. 
defending champion Dave Fowler is pulling for the Corvette. Oh. Hey. All right, hold it. Hold it. Who's responsible for this? It was Kane. What? Mr. Sackner, sir. Oh, yeah, it's most amusing. Should we all go out and rile up seeing Eye Dog now? Kane, okay. you got yourself a detention for the week. Now help that boy up. Mm -hmm. That stands for learning disabled, which was a nice way of saying reading for dumb. Hey, we're not dumb. Like me. We just can't read right. Your tutor will be right along, Max. I'm Kevin Dillon. Hi, Kevin. I'll be your student reading tutor. Hi, Kevin. My name is Max. Hi, Max. <laughs> Did you bring a book? I don't have no book. Don't have a book. How do you expect to read without a book? Read this. Go on, read it. First you have to open it. <laughs> Chapter 1. It's your turn. In the old days, as it is told, there was a king in Brit. Brit. Here. Close your eyes. was a king in Britain named Uther Pendragon. He was a good king and mighty, and much of his strength he owed to his chief counselor, Merlin. But Merlin was an enchanter who could read the stars and hold discourse with the fairy world. Merlin knew the secrets of nature and the hearts of men. To him, the future was as clear as the past. See anything? Every word is part of a picture. Every sentence is a picture. All you do is let your imagination connect them together. If you have an imagination, that is. Read chapter one by tomorrow. Wait, I can't. Can't? No, no, you will. If you want to make it to the eighth grade, that is. If not, you can always go to one of those special schools. Sit around with a bunch of kids. Can't even say their own names. Get the picture now. It was Blade. Who threw the basketball at you? Not me. So you let those punks make a jump at you, huh? What's the matter with you? <laughs> I don't like to cause trouble. So you're a pacifist. A what? A pacifist. Pass on the fists. Get it? <laughs> right. It's not my best friend. <laughs> I like him. He's funny. Would you like to earn a gold crown? Can you that by me again? A gold crown? Roughly five bucks. Taking into account inflation since 900 AD. Five bucks for what? For taking me to the fairgrounds next Saturday to see the fireworks. It's the river fest. My mom doesn't like fireworks. She doesn't like crowds. She never lets me go anywhere by myself. She thinks I'll get trampled or something. But, if 
to go with someone as big as you, I think I could convince her. That's how it started. He didn't ask me. But I know all I can see are feet and knees. And so I just sort of reached down without thinking. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> fireworks before but that night they look like the most brightest beautiful things in the whole world <laughs> of course freak had his own way of putting it as tall as i'd like to be uh-oh cretans at 10 o'clock what hey, hey, check it out the freak i felt freak's foot hit my side it's crushes Mostly, but yeah, basically. I trade places with you any day. <sighs> That's why it's called Blade. I say we got about five seconds till we get messed with real good. It's time for the free show. Mm. Come on, Max. Fairgrounds this evening. Local punks. We got a lid on it. Thank you. Thank you. Morning, Mr. Hampton. Good morning, Max. Where is it? Is it in the bag? It's in the bag, isn't it? It is. Hey, take it outside. A knight proves his worthiness by his deeds. Where is it? What? Well, come on! Yeah. Hand her, Knave. You say something? I said. Get your filthy hands off of her. <laughs> I'm like a knight on a steed. No problem. It's on the house. Baby, it's on the house! Hell yeah! Cleverly concealed in the slime of dragons. It's a woman's person that's covered with crap. <laughs> 
Potato, potato. And it's our duty as the knights of the realm to return it to its rightful How are we going to do that? Voila. Now, all you have to do is descend and retrieve the treasure. Me? How come I always end up <laughs> crap? Just think of it as a close encounter of the turret kind. Circus in town? <laughs> Believe this is yours. Have a nice day. Shut up, Loretta. Kenny Kane's boy. All growed up. My, oh my, how time flies. Get away from me. You know, I knew you when you were just a young thing. You got your picture in the paper. Woman, you are drunk. Yes, I believe you. Picture in the paper? You know, Iggy and your daddy, they did some time together up there in Langford. They go way back, isn't that right, Iggy? You knew his dad? No reward needed, ma'am. We were just doing our duty as knights in the shining armor. I'm just not in trouble. We've been notified by the parole board. Your father's been granted a parole. No! No! Max? No! What did he do? I think I can say that his, uh, his bone growth has ceased while his internal organs are continuing their natural growth. I am not a counselor, Mrs. Dillon. This is very hard for me to say. But I would have to recommend that you start 
thinking about making some preparations. Won't you tell me how long? I'm not an expert on Kevin's disease, but I would say maybe a year. Here's what? You see the mm -hmm. wing of that closest building? Yeah. I want you to swear that what you're about to hear, you will tell no one. A sacred oath upon your good name and honor. I, Max Kane. Here do swear. Here do swear <laughs> that I will tell no one. Inside there is a laboratory called the Experimental Biogenetic mm -hmm. Intervention Unit. At some near future date, as yet undetermined, but likely within the next year, I will enter that lab. King Arthur wanted to improve his men, so he made them armor-plated. Today we have biogenetics, the science of designing replacement parts for the human body. You mean you're getting new legs? No, I mean a whole new body. A new body? Yeah. Go closer. I never told you this. I had to keep it a secret. But every few months I've gone for tests. It measured me, analyzed blood, metabolic rates. <coughs> I've been x-rayed, CAT scan, and sonogram. They're fitting me for a transplant. I'm going to be the first biogenetically improved human. Sounds like it's gonna hurt. Maybe. But so what? You can think your way out of anything, even pain. It sounds too dangerous. Hey, life is dangerous. did take Max. Of course, the Queen of Saxony. Iggy and your daddy did some time together up there in Langford, you know. They go way back. Do you think they're going back to her place? Yep. That's my boy. Get out of them. Yeah, get Max. Get him, Max. Get him. Get him, Max. Get him. I've come for my brother in arms. The knight proves his worthiness by his deeds. <laughs> You're the crippled kid. Is your partner in crime, this little freak? What are you, soft the head boy? Guess what I got for Christmas, Mr. Kane? Well, I don't know. A squirt gun and a chemistry set. Good old reliable H2SO4. Sulfuric acid. Oily, colorless, and 
and able to strip the paint off a car in two seconds. So ask yourself, am I feeling lucky today? Bulls. Get him! We should yield not to you or any man. Hmm. We had Christmas a week late that year. By then, Gwen had forgiven Freak. Killer Kane was back in good. for good. And we got our pictures in the paper. This is for you. Freak the Mighty. You don't have to say anything. You may overcome with gratitude. You made this? What kind of book is this? It doesn't say nothing. Close your eyes. Every word is part of a picture. Every sentence? Every sentence is a picture. Is a picture. All you do is let your imagination connect them together. If you have an imagination, that is. He went in his sleep. Oh. What's supposed to happen? Do what he said he did. He lied to you <laughs> to make you feel better. I stayed in the down under for days and days and kept the door closed. But you know, I missed the funeral and Kevin's mom moving away. <laughs> Grim threatened to unscrew my door, but he never did. He just kept saying I should come out for Graham's sake. And sometimes she'd come down and say I should come out for Grim's sake. And then I started connecting all these things I was thinking about. And I had a crazy thought. <laughs> Since Freak showed me I could read a book, maybe I could write one too. <sighs> then I thought to myself, are you kidding, Max Kane? You got no brain. So I wrote that down. And then kept on going. And I reached my last page. Now, 
Only this dumb writer could get writer's block on his last page. You see, they just didn't know how to end it. <laughs> Yet some men say, in many parts of England, that King Arthur is not dead, that he shall come again, that there is written this verse upon his tomb, which lies at the bottom of the lake. Here lies King Arthur, once and future king. Once and future king. Now, that could either mean that he will come again, or I had a better idea. That when someone so great once was, <laughs> then someone so great will always be. That was amazing. Oh, that was an amazing, amazing story. I had a regret like that in a while. Oh, well, guys, that was a mighty. Oh. Mm. Oh, I feel so, uh, uh, just so sad. Uh, but I feel so connected to Max because I was I am nearly Max. I'm in a better situation than Max. Lucky more more than most, but I also have learning disabilities. Have a hard time reading. I, I can sympathize with he what he's thinking, how he's feeling, in certain aspects. Oh, I didn't expect Kevin to die. Oh, but that was a great story he told. It should be so. It should be published everywhere, so everyone knows his story. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction and me crying. If you did, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and let me know how you thought of The Mighty. But anyways, I will see you guys later. I've got to, you know, process and try not to cry anymore. <laughs> but I'll see you guys later. It's with MCDD. Why did he have to die on Christmas? Why? I don't know. See you guys later. Peace.